the manifesto, what the facts said. But it does remind me. Are they calling it a manifesto? Well, the, you know, I said manifesto because I'm thinking back to the Virginia Tech shooting uh, yes. a decade ago. In that case, the gunman actually sent a, 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 in the mail a manifesto to NBC News. It was right. received two days afterwards. In this case, obviously, ABC receiving it much sooner after the shooting because it was faxed to them sometime between last night and this morning. But no details, however, identify the person identifying themselves as they say Bryce he Williams? identified as Bryce Williams. That's the on air name of this person. That's the person's name on Twitter and Facebook, even though we're going by a, an actual name that's different. Hey, Brian, go ahead. ahead. Parallel with Virginia Tech here, but it's also um, eerie to consider the fact that Virginia Tech really does actually play a, a more relevant role in this because we know that Adam Ward was a graduate of Virginia Tech, one of the professors there who was a contributor to this affiliate. WDBJ worked with both Allison and Adam. He put out a statement today mourning their loss, you know, to bring all of our viewers really up to speed here. Uh, this happened this morning, 645. This was a team, a reporter and a photographer, a 24-year-old and a 27-year-old who were assigned to work on stories together for the morning show. They were out there together doing an interview with the Chamber of Commerce. That's when at least six or seven shots rang out. You can hear them on a video that was posted on Facebook. We've also seen images, of course, of a gun uh, coming into the shot as the gunman First approaches. we saw it play out on live TV on that local station, and now we've seen, and we're not showing it, but now we have seen a video posted from the gunman's, the shooter's perspective right, so of, this exact, for this. of this exact shooting. This man, we're going to show you, let me show you this picture really quick. We're going to get over to Washington in just a second for an update on the manhunt. But I want to show you the image of the now what is be, who is being called a suspect. His name is Vester L. Flanagan. He's a former employee of WDBJ, as Brian and Alex were pointing out. His, he is known on air as Bryce Williams. This person, uh, there was a going a little back and forth a few minutes ago on what he should be considered. Well, now authorities are calling him a suspect, we are being told. They are seeking him right now. The manhunt is underway. He is not in custody. And that is why they're asking for the, for the public's help. The public's help. They're looking for a 2009 gray Mustang. That is what he is driving. Let me get over to Washington. Justice reporter Evan Perez, he's covering the manhunt. All of the agencies involved, Evan, what is the very latest? They sure seem to ID him very quickly, but still not in custody. That's right, Kate. They seem to know a lot about him. They seem to know where he was, certainly when he posted some of the social media uh, uh, pictures and, and videos that he's now posted in, the, in just in the last hour. So uh, authorities know what, who they're looking for. They know generally where they're looking for him. And so let's see if that, that helps them uh, uh, you know, I, I, uh, track him down more quickly. The, uh, we know that the uh, ATF, the FBI, and the U.S. Marshals, they're uh, throwing all the resources they can in the region uh, to try to to find him. Uh, they're, they're, in the, they're on the ground, they're in the air, they're trying to figure out whether or not he's going to use his phone again uh, to be able to see if they could pinpoint exactly where he is. Uh, something Brian said just a few minutes ago, uh, really, uh, I think we need to underscore. You know, a lot of these incidents happen and you, you see that the shooters study past shootings and they see and they figure out ways uh, to get more attention. This guy seems, according to the videos that we've seen, uh, have simply, simply uh, broken the mold. He is uh, uh, taking a video video of the shooting himself uh, and then posting it online, something that we haven't seen before in any one of these uh, previous horrific incidents. That's something that the FBI, the ATF, and, and Marshal Service are obviously going to be using to try to uh, find him and to try to figure out exactly what was the motive here. It is truly, truly horrific. Um, Brian, Alex, and I saw the video before it was suspended. We will not be showing it. It is horrific. But I do want to show this image one more time. Evan, thank you so much for your reporting. Let's show his image one more time because the manhunt is still underway as we speak. For this man, Vester L. Flanagan, known on air as Bryce Williams. He could be in the Roanoke, Virginia area. Authorities are looking for him, especially after posting online to an account in his name. We are now very, very we're now comfortable calling him the apparent shooter because it seems clearly they post he has posted or had posted evidence. Seems he wanted to identify himself. Himself. Via Twitter and Facebook. Of that exactly. Brian, you're absolutely right. We're gonna get in another quick break. A lot more developments coming forward on this horrific shooting out of Roanoke, Virginia, playing out on live local TV this morning. We'll be right back. <laughs> 